Hey, Randy, I'm under a curse. If I can't get somebody to love me by the time the last rose petal falls, I'm going to look like this forever. Fortunately, these petals are, are glued on. I'm also fortunate to have Amazing Grace in my life. She and I went and watched the new Beauty and the Beast film on opening night, and spoiler alert, it was really good. Since this film is a remake of one that literally everybody has already seen, spoilers probably don't matter. But have you and Steph watched it yet? If not, I really recommend you go. The live-action Beauty and the Beast film is already breaking box office records, and I think fans of the cartoon will really like this one. There are some slight changes and some minor additions, but overall it stays pretty true to the cartoon. My favorite scene from the cartoon has always been the introduction to Belle's Village, this boring provincial town. There's so much going on in this scene and it's a great introduction to the setting and the characters and their motives right from the get-go. And of course the song is great and so I was really excited to see it done almost exactly the same way but in live action. Really well done. And Be Our Guest was a literal feast for the eyes and the ears. A literal feast for the eyes? So overall, a great film by far, and I think it's going to be hard for future Disney live-action films to live up to it. My only nitpick would be the casting of the Beast. He didn't seem princely enough, debonair enough to really pull it off, but he was CGI most of the time, so you don't really notice it. And I know a lot of people were wary about Emma Watson, and even after the fact, there's still some criticism of her choice to play the role of Bale, but I really do think she pulled it off. And now after seeing the film, I really wish that I had some Beauty and the Beast Legos, but I don't have any. And to be honest, I don't think there are very many Beauty and the Beast Legos. I only know of one set from the Lego Disney Princesses line, and that means mini dolls. I think Beast works fine as this kind of Lego because, you know, he's different. And I really wish that I could get a Belle and a Gaston and a LeFou that's more traditional Lego. But I don't know, I might buy the set. I really would like to have Cogsworth and Lumiere. And speaking of anthropomorphic household items, this new film did a really great job with them. I thought that that would be the hardest challenge of all because when you think of cartoons, it's, it's easy to personify everyday objects. It happens all the time in cartoons like Brave Little Toaster or Cars, but I thought that that would be really difficult for them to pull off in a live action way and not make the household items seem a little off. But somebody working on this film did an incredible job bringing these items to life. They looked real enough to be believable as humans living inside these objects, but at the same time, you understand what object they are. Not like Mixels. So yeah, a really great film. Go watch it if you haven't already, and if you have, go watch it again. So hopefully soon, I'll have some Beauty and the Beast Legos, even if it happens to be these weird blockheads. So that's really all I have this week, Randy. See you soon.